Die, Cloud. <laughs> Hello people, Cloud Killer Koopa Troopa here. I'm just on my way to work right now, and today is going to be a little different than most days. I'm heading in super early because I have a thing that I need to fix. It's a pretty short story. I'm going about my work, right? I head into the bathroom. I walk in and I just see the paper towel dispenser on the floor. You know, like the motion hands-free thing for paper towels? It's just on the floor. I like see two giant holes in the wall where the screws were and everything. So I go to the bathroom, wash my hands, come out with a paper towel dispenser in my wet hands. And I'm just carrying this thing through the dining room, past the front counter. I'm like, yep, this is fun time. I still don't get paid for this. <laughs> so yeah, I put it on the desk in the office with a little note on it saying that I'll try to fix it as soon as possible. And it turns out that as soon as possible is today. So I'm just heading in a couple hours early. Gonna take some measurements, do some research, go over to the hardware store to get the parts that I need, and see if I can get it fixed before my regular shift's scheduled to start. I was scheduled to start at four. I wanted to give myself two hours which means I wanted to get there at two, which obviously isn't gonna happen, but that's okay. I did give myself a half hour buffer, so we should be fine. It is another beautiful day, which is awesome. I am liking this weather. So yeah, here we are. Ah! I'm gonna head inside and see if I can film anything, because that might make this whole thing a bit more exciting. So here's where the paper towel dispenser used to be. Sorry for the echo, obviously I'm in a restroom, but those holes are fine, which makes sense because they're on the bottom, but <laughs> those are just ripped right the way out of the wall. That's fun. We're missing a little red dot right there. But yeah, the hole on this one is 3 eighths ish or something, 5 sixteenths. Screw inches. Millimeters are best. So we probably need like a 10 millimeter anchor or something. And then on this one, same, like 10. Wonderful. I was also gonna see if it might be a good idea to move the holes entirely. If it's not currently on a stud, which it doesn't look like it is, that's probably why it got ripped out in the first place. But I see why, because this is uh, mortar, and the stud finder doesn't seem to like it. Up, oh, up. Oh. Found something. Oh, but then if, but then not here. Yep, okay. So that's useless. Alright, so I'm on my way to the hardware store. I'm right on schedule. So I need to pick up some bigger anchors, a wrench because the screws that we use are actually really weird, and a cleaning brush for an entirely different project involving one of our toasters. But like, look at the screw that we use. Like, look at that. At first glance, I thought it was just a hex bolt, but that dot in the middle just complicates freaking everything. Why? Okay. Think I'm going this way? No. No, I'm going this way. Right? No. No, it's this way. It's definitely this way. Yeah. Yeah, that way is the other shopping center. This way is... Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm not navigationally challenged. You're navigationally challenged. Alright. Right then, here we are. Let's not fling my phone everywhere by doing the gear shift. Mm. All right, anchors. All right, so I did some looking and I think these might be what I want, this little wallboard anchor here. I measured and the very outer diameter is about 13 to 15 millimeters and the inner is like eight or nine. That should fit nicely. Turns out these screws here are security screws. So there's a reason that they make our life miserable because they want to make everyone else's life miserable so that people can't get into it. But I say screw that, I'm getting a tool for it. None shall stand in my way. Mahahaha. Now for the brush. I think something like that might be good. But that is supposed to go in a drill. And I'm not sure we want to do that. Alright, so someone helped me find this little gem. It has a handle and everything, and it has a nice thin, and the surface is really abrasive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that, and I'll get this thing as well, just in case this doesn't work. 
and we may or may not be able to put that into a drill or something. Maybe we can operate it without the drill, I don't know. All right, I'm on my way back from the hardware store. I actually underestimated the amount I would need. It's about $2 short, so I paid those with my own money, and we'll have to see how change works, because this is the first time I'm paying with store money. Oh, wow, the route I took to get to the hardware store was so convoluted. I wasted like five minutes because I went all the way around. Oh my gosh, I'm such a bloody idiot. I'm a little behind, but hopefully installing it won't be too difficult. Hello, puppy. <laughs> all right, here we are. All right. Seems to be getting stuck on the mortar, which is what I was afraid of. What about this one? Okay, that one might work. Gotta unscrew the screws that were already there. Well, that's not particularly good. Wonderful. We are making no progress. Right, so this has actually stripped out entirely, which is what I was afraid of, because I didn't want to just widen those holes, and that's exactly what's happened. Wonderful. All right, so I think I'm just gonna move the position of the holes, like, up a little bit, so that I don't have to deal with the other holes entirely, which means I need to figure out what kind of tiles these are so that I can drill into them. I did some Googling and I think they are ceramic. I just really hope they're not porcelain because apparently those are a freaking pain in the butt to drill into. They have like a diamond drill bit and all that. Also, those anchors were a horrible idea because they just stripped out the drywall and if I really wanted to be accurate, I should have got metal instead of plastic, which I didn't think I would need, but apparently I did. So yeah, now I gotta come back sometime and mark new holes, drill the new holes, like figure out how to drill them and do so, get all the parts that I need to do so, actually mount the paper towel thing, make sure everything is clean, not necessarily in that order. So yeah, this is a fun time. Alright, so I'll be taking two of these tiles home with me. One of them has a nice clear back and lots of the surface available for identification, and the other is the only tile that came off in one piece, so the others have like a chip on them or something. Well, my backpack. Need that. Alright, so I'm on my way home. I actually left all the stuff there, and I'll just go back and get it on Friday and do everything that I need to on the clock. I am glad I have a store key now, though, because I left my backpack in there. I had to go back and get it. Yeah, you can't really see much from my phone right now. Ah, oh, this light again! Ah! Yeah, you can't really see much from my phone right now because it's too dark, so dash cam only this time. That actually really hurt my throat. I should not scream like that. But yeah, basically, I am just going to ask the guys at Peeny everything I want to know because they are awesome and know a lot more about this type of thing than anyone that works at Chick-fil-A, including me. So I need to know what kind of tile we're dealing with, how to drill into it, how and if I should try to find studs in the wall, what kind of anchors they recommend, and whether or not I should try to use sealant on it, which was in use before. I'm not sure if that was contributing to holding it up at all, but when I took it down, there was a layer of glue or sealant or something. So I want to see if I should try to put that back. Hi, person. I was doing a lot of uh, office work dealing with the paper towel dispenser problem. I can park the car and join you. That's fun. Get to join my dad on a little walk for a few minutes. Fine and dandy, but then this happened. 
As you can see, the screw looks like it'll go into the hole just fine, but as for the rest of the anchor, not so much. Turns out, when I got the anchors and was looking at drill bits to get, I was looking at the big number on the anchor package, which indicates the screw size, rather than the small number here, which indicates the size of the actual anchor. So, I am just gonna change this out really quick. Alright, this is looking much better. Size matches, and let's try it out. Pretty solid. How we looking? Like a paper towel dispenser. Bloody hell, I think this project might almost be done. has the correct anchors. Right then, I'm gonna pack up this mess and go the heck home. Hey guys, it's the evening of the second day since I came back from the hospital. Still don't have a whole lot of energy, but I figured I could at least record an outro for you guys. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I have tested it since I finished the project, and it has so far withstood guests and employees alike. So yeah, hopefully I won't need to mess with that, at least not for a long time. It's been an interesting week, and I'm glad I could document a good bit of it. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, Cloud Killer Koopa Troopa, out.